What's going on you guys, this is MexKD, I have another HP Compact 6200 Pro, this is the uh, Micro Tower Ruby Processor Upgrade, show you how to do that, so first you're going to do is remove the top screws here in the back and you're going to lift up the side cover panel and what you guys need is uh, either a Torx T15 screwdriver right here or you could use a flathead screwdriver because we're going to remove the processor cooler heatsink and it's using the four screws or two side two screws on each side and to do that I'm going to go ahead and remove the wires here where the plastic French fan shroud here and what you're going to do is this there's a clip right here so you lift up like this press on it and lift up like that it comes out now you're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use a Torx T15 screwdriver. If you guys don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you can just go to use a flathead screwdriver, perfectly fine. Okay, so here's the heatsink cooler. Now you're gonna take the clean paper towel and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off the processor before you remove it. And there's a clip. To do that, there's a clip on it right here. You're gonna take the finger on here like this, and you press on the clip like this, comes out. And you're gonna take the processor straight up like this. And the processor, guys, I'm gonna be upgrading is uh, Intel Core i7-2600. And you're gonna install the same way you remove it. It's like this, the corners here in the bottom, you can see. So you're gonna you're gonna install the processor like this. See where the corner is on the right and one on the left? That's the same way you're gonna install it. So there's one corner right here on the left, one on the right, left and right, and that's the same way you're gonna install the processor like this. I'll zoom out the camera. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the debit or credit card you have and you're gonna remove the old thermal compound off the heatsink. On this one, so if you can get it off, it's too dry, then you're gonna take a debit credit card and scrape it off. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a paper. Like this, and you're gonna scrape it off. Just like that. That's good enough. Now you're gonna take a you're gonna take a rubbing alcohol and you're gonna go at least seventy percent. Uh, you can go to any grocery store, right, or pharmacy area. You can get this rubbing alcohol. They sell it. Otherwise, you can just go online and get it. Fifty percent is not good enough. Seventy percent is perfectly fine. And you're gonna use a thick paper towel. And you're gonna apply a little bit. 
like this. And you're gonna go around the heat sink. Good. That's like that, that's good enough. Same with the process, I'm just go around it. Now I'm gonna take the thermal compound. If you guys wanna spread it, then what you can do is take a thermal compound and apply it on a processor like this and in the middle. And when you install the heat sink, it will spread evenly, but I'm just gonna do it the other way. I'm just gonna apply it on the heat sink. And I'm gonna use a, you could use a credit or debit card you have and just spread it evenly like this. That's good enough. And the way you install the heat sink, it's gonna be like this. See where this the side right here, the little cut? Because when you close the flange rod, this little clip right here, that's always the same way you're gonna install it like that. Because if you install it like this, it will not work. It's have to be like this. And make sure you check all the all the screws on each side. Make sure they're tight. They're not loose. Because if they're loose, the heat sink is not gonna be. It could be overheating the processor. Make sure they're tight. Check it. Check each side. So we're done. Now I want to show you guys. Be the last part is uh, doing the uh, CMOS battery. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace. It's right there where the heat sink is at. I'm gonna do it at the same time. I have to replace it. And what you do is take a flathead screwdriver and there's a little clip right here, you press on it, the battery sock and the battery comes out. And put the new battery in it, just like that and you're done. Let me zoom out the camera and install the back the plastic French route like this. Now you're going to connect back the wires around it like that. And you're done. So you guys, we upgraded the processor to i7-2600. This is a quad core. And we and we changed the battery. We changed the CMOS battery right there. And the battery, you can go online and get it. It's a CR2032. Or you can just go, go online and get it. Otherwise, you can just go to any, uh, any grocery stores. They do sell it too. So, or any hardware store. So you guys, it's been in the video. Let me go ahead and close the side cover panel back. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.